What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Structure. I'm H. This is E. What up, what up? We break down your favorite TV shows, movies, and documentaries. That's right. Today, we're doing Billions. Season finale, that means episode 12, is called Cold Storage. Mike Prince, he just dropped $3.5 billion. Why? Because money ain't a thing. Or is it, H? Yeah, I don't know, man, but let's find out. <laughs> let's get unstructured. Man, Billions was fire. A very interesting season. But before we get started, yes. quick announcement. We started a new video series for you guys Go called Watch, Watch or, or Pass. Pass. Check it out. We have our first video out. It's going to be on the new Bel Air show, That's a right. reimagining of the classic Fresh Prince of Bel Air. We'll have more videos on that series coming soon. Yep. We're also reviewing Halo. We're reviewing Atlanta. And we have Gotta Power Book 4. So check them out. All right. To the task at, at hand. What are your so, thoughts on this episode today? Man, interesting episode. It, re- it definitely had me. Uh, Thinking, man, is Chuck really going to be the biggest loser of the whole season? Is he really going to just go down? Because I was like, there's got to be a way. Because everything was seemed to be like like Chuck was too over, overconfident. He's making too many mistakes. Yeah. And Kate and Mike were on top of it. And I'm like, man, my boy Chuck's going to really go down. And, it was like yeah. Captain Ahab chasing a great white whale. And, I mean, he would not stop. Despite all the advisement of the of his uh, lawyer and everything else, he would not stop. Hey, but he Dave threw him a bone. Him. He went yeah. to jail. Yeah, he did. But Dave threw him a bone and said, "I'm on board with you." I saw I saw uh, Mike flinch at the end, and I know that there was money on there, and we significantly hurt him because he dropped three point five billion dollars just to be right. So. Let's push this some more. And he let's... almost fainted too. He went to the elevator. He's, I like, mean... he's like, oh, <laughs> oh my God. Yo, <laughs> you, I, you wanted to give it to the people. Now nobody gets it. This is terrible. What, what happened to the mic money? What's going on? I wonder if he's still going to continue with the program. Maybe he'll have new people sign on to, to help him out. So, with and and there, there's a whole bunch of questions. That was one of my questions because I mean, you were going to fund it yourself. Now you don't have the money. And that was a third. And like, as uh, Chuck, I believe, said, that was like 30% of his money. So is he going to spend another 30%? leaving him you get it with another 30 roughly a little bit about 30 percent in wealth that's ridiculous so what's his next plan and we won't know until next year yeah and the next season hits and hopefully comes sooner rather than later you know this was a very rocky season it was a hit or miss you know not having acts there it felt weird it didn't feel natural some of the characters didn't even feel at home like there's a conversation that wags and wendy had where they're reminiscing about the regime they had on their ex and the regime yeah. they have on their mic, where Wax even says, because as far as saying that, you know, at least I knew that when I was with ex, this exactly. is what I had to do. Yes. I don't have to pretend. Yes. And it, it was, felt right. It wasn't a dog and pony show. You know, if you're, if you're that type of person, just be that type of person. Be honest with yourself and everybody else instead of painting, like he said, you know, you have a different person for the outside versus uh, a different person from the, uh, from the inside. And that's the persona that Mike Prince has. I, I don't know, maybe it's because of where he's from or whatever. He can't be his authentic self, which is yeah. a shark. Uh, but just it's changed. you. It's definitely changed. He's, very, he's more tame this season. But let me ask you, that conversation, it kind of signaled to me that there might be a departure from the show where that's going to be Wendy or Wax or both of them because exactly. they don't see They weren't like, feeling it anymore. They don't, they're not feeling it. They, Wendy's la- in the last episode, Wendy just didn't feel at home. Mm-hmm. And this episode, Wax is expressing the same sentiment. Yeah, no, I, I, I definitely agree. And how could they not? If we're if they're staying true to themselves and, and if the writers are staying true to the characters, they were all in on Bobby Axelrod but how could you, they're completely different. Their principles are different because of the reason that we just stated. So how could they stay on board? And yeah. so I think there will be that splinter. And not only that, but Taylor has a reason to splinter off as well uh, because uh, Re- uh, Rianne. Rianne, sorta, like she played her. She, yeah, she sort of played her. So that's, that's, a, that's a big deal as well. And she's still dating Mike. Yeah, because, so, you know, this is the thing with Rianne. Like, Rianne was complaining multiple times in the episode about Mike, right? Yeah. And then shows up at Mike's house and then he like, well, you, you want to leave? Like, well, no, not really. She was still down for it. And I think right after that, there was another scene that she's complaining about Mike 
about how the kind of person that Mike is. Exactly. I like then what are you doing? What are you doing? Like yeah. you are contradicting so, yourself. Rianne's character, I don't like it. I don't know what's what's her deal. Um, in reality, some of these characters they needed to be put on their own. If they're gonna stay on the show on their own firm, like create something new on their wax command, where you have the old axe cap people kind of run things and gonna go against Mike's people to have like that double threat against Mike, because Mike is that's a good uh, idea. They build up Mike so much. Yeah. He never loses. He's, the, he's and Mike the, only has like fifteen billion. Is that is that correct? Or, or actually, it was sixteen billion and counting. But like, like in the world of billionaires, that's baby money. Yeah, I mean that. Yeah, so like, it I might mean, be more money than that. I, we will have to look to see if, what, how much money does he really have? Because I think he's he's playing that Jeff Bezos kind of kind of character, and they made some yeah. reference to that in the show. So it would have been more. They would have start. It's they wouldn't start at sixteen or fourteen, wherever they started last episode. But it's just interesting, and these perspectives are interesting, and it's it's interesting to see how. Uh, the race, his run for presidents, uh, for presidency is going to go next year because obviously you have the usual suspects going against him, which is Dave and also Chuck, uh, which Chuck is going to be a silent secret agent because he's supposed to be under indictment. But who else is going to step onto that, that train, that bandwagon? Uh, will it be Taylor? Will it be Wendy? And will it be wax? Because like, a lot of people come out the woodwork when you run for president. Yep. And I mean, there's got to be some uh, access to grind. <laughs> what about his old partner that he ripped off? I don't think that, that he's going to play. I'm just saying it's a possibility. Go I don't ahead. think he's going to play a factor into it. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I they, We might see the introduction of a new character uh, next season. Yeah, definitely. Someone in the political realm more, yeah. that may be running against him mm -hmm. to give him some kind of uh, pushback. Where we can see Chuck allied himself with that person. Chuck's already been in politics. He probably knows some people have some pull. So I can see another character being introduced to opposite Mike. But in regards to taking Mike down, next season is not going to be good for Mike. It's going to be a bloodbath because Chuck is, is the most and motivated he has less he's money ever been. Too. Yeah. And he has, he's, go he's running for presidency, which means that you're going to spend a lot of money. He just dropped 3.5, which apparently he can't get back. Or and maybe that's out a, in maybe, the wallet, yeah. yeah, and maybe they were they were lying to us, and he actually has the money, but it doesn't seem like it. But you're going to spend more money on a campaign. Where is that money coming from? You're going to get donations, but he, ultimately, since uh, he unless he gets a party nomination, uh, he's going to have to come out of pocket, and he still may have to come out of pocket. So where is all this money coming from? I don't know. Uh, is it, they say it's uh, tax free money. Yeah, but to let, switch topics real quickly. Yep. Let me get your thoughts on Dave. Because Dave was very bland for me most of the season, and she showed a completely different side at the end of this episode. What are your thoughts on, on Dave going forward? I don't know why. I know they. I know what they said and the reason why Dave is so mad at, uh, at Mike Prince. You know, but dude, this is New York. People got money. Like you could see, you see millionaires on a regular basis, and maybe every now and then you'll see a billionaire, and you just. Mind your business. Like, you just go about, like, why does she have so much of an axe to grind? At why that she's commandeering the Justice Department to um, stop him? Okay, he's running for president. See, uh, or, all right. But, like, is that really legit? Like, is that the way things get done? I don't think so. Uh, I don't, so but I, I do. Get, I want to give her some validity in what she said that, if he's willing to lose $3.5 billion yeah. to prove a point, yeah. what other methods will he employ to get what he wants? Because obviously it's been shown that Mike will go to any extent to be able sure. to get his, he definitely, his goal, he def right? Yeah, he definitely will. So that's will. a dangerous person to have in power. Yeah, I, well, it may, if you have him on your side, that might be a good thing. But we'll, we'll see how he's going to handle things. I got another question. What about the conversation between Scooter and Philip? Yeah, so Scooter knows that Mike, although he had put some this act, this face to the people, he's acting. Yeah. Deep down inside, he knows he knows, all the, he knows where all the bodies are buried. He did not want his family Scooter to be involved. Indeed. Exactly. He's gonna soil his family, his nephew, by being associated with Mike. Exactly, which is why, and now I think Philip is sort of seeing it. Uh, but he's still gun hole, which is which is interesting because uh, you know how far does it go? How much if they start peeling back the layers, 
during the the campaign and how much is that an issue uh how much does that reflect on philip how much does that affect him going forward what about kate's performance going head to head with chuck yet again but really saying stay in your place you're not even in this you're not even out i mean because she knew Uh, chuck is 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 unwind He's so blinded by revenge that he's not covering all his angles, and she knows him better than anybody else. He taught her. He she taught her, right? Yep, absolutely. She saw that opportunity. She she, she saw played what him. she needed to do, and she played him. Yeah, she played him. She knew exactly what was up. Hey, this has been a lot of fun. Thank you, everyone, for all your comments uh, during the billion season. It's we loved it. Eventually. It started off kind of slow, but yeah, it sort of sure. it grew into its own and found sort of its own way. I look forward to season seven where they really take it to a, a, a different level or turn the page on Bobby Axelrod completely. We'll see how it is. We will be back, but before we go, we have to do the great. We have to, yeah, we have to go ahead and give this not just the episode, but the whole season a great. Okay. Uh, as well, Let's do and that. then I have a question for our viewers as well at the end of it what all. What you got? Uh, so let's e. What would you grade this episode first? This episode, I would give uh, eight point five. Very good. Yeah, I'm gonna give it at nine. A I nine. Really, I really enjoy it because it did nine. keep me on my nine. <laughs> <laughs> it really kept me on my on my toes, so I really enjoyed it. But why did you rate the whole season? As a, as a- the whole season, I would say, is uh, I, I'm gonna say it's seven point five. I don't, I don't want to. It started off slow. And they had to build their own identity, uh, in which that started off, I think it was like five episodes for them, for them really to hit the nail on the head. And then they, they traveled down their own path uh, and left the Bobby Axelrod mm-hmm. shadow. Uh, so hopefully they start strong next season. It'll be better. 7.5 for this season. I have to agree with you. This season, it was mixed feelings, especially starting out a slow start. Uh, it definitely landed well at the end. Some things were inconsistent, but you know, we'll, we'll give it a pass just because we know there was circumstances of the main character leaving and they had to figure it out. So I'm gonna give him a, a, a pass on that. Yeah. Just a little bit of a pass. Next season, they definitely have to bring it from the get because this next season is gonna be a, a very big test for them. Can they retain the viewers? Can they retain the emotion and the fanfare from the, the series? Now that we know for sure there's no acts, we know what the flavor. Uh, we're getting with uh, with exactly. Mike, so let's see. But I do want to ask our, our viewers: You guys have a, leave us, leave us in the comments. What su- what are your suggestions for another show that you guys would like like us to talk about? If you have a show that you love that you see coming up that you want us to have a conversation about, we will happily review it. We'll always take uh, um, in consideration what our viewers like to check out. Absolutely, you know, we're always up for a new show. Yeah, we enjoy watching some of these great stories are told. And- we like cinema. <laughs> yeah, we like stories. Let us know what story we should watch next. We'll put it on the list. Until the next time, I'm E, this is H, and we are... Unstructured. That's right.